Hello YouTube, Scott Levin here for another edition of Get to Know. And today we are in the man cave of the number one radio personality in Buffalo, WIRK Mornings host, the country station, the station of Buffalo, Clay Moden. Welcome. Good to see you. Hey, Scott. To know. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the house. Thanks for joining us, uh, Clay, today. I gotta ask you first and foremost. First of all, you got a beautiful home, you got a beautiful man cave in Thank here. Thank you. It's filled with uh, different trinkets and stuff like that. You're a country guy. You were a hunter too, right? Absolutely. You like to hunt, right? I grew up in the outdoors. Um, my father wasn't necessarily an outdoorsman, but my, my friends all were. Right. Um, went to East Aurora High School. So, I mean, the first deer I ever shot wasn't far from Bosey's Ormsby Center in East Aurora, which now has really grown up. So, yeah. So, like on a normal weekend or whatever, you're going to go out with the guys, with your wife, with your friends, and just go hunting, game I, hunting, right? I would prefer to be outside in the woods um, hunting or fishing if I could be all day. I get FOMO, like people get FOMO about sports and events. Right. Sunset on a clear fall afternoon, if I'm not outside, I start to shake. I'm, you, I, I love it that much. You grew up in East Aurora. Yep. Right? And you had how many brothers and sisters? So I'm the youngest of five. Right. I have a twin sister. Um, grew twin up in, sister? Yeah. Okay. Which I don't think my father ever planned on me. I'm the youngest, right. so I'm like the, whoa, <laughs> right. two for one deal. <laughs> right. So, uh, but yeah, I grew up in East Aurora, um, went to Canisius High School or Canisius College. Right. Um, what did you study there? I studied communications. Okay. I Good thought for, for real I was going to make the basketball team. I played basketball you at East High it. School. John Beeline's like, sorry. Yeah. You're just, it's not going to work out. Right. So I got a, um, a, a part-time job slash internship at YRK, and I've been there ever since. This was how many years ago? 1996, because I graduated East Aurora High School in 95. So okay. right out of high school, interning, stuffing bags at the fair, that kind of thing. All right, so you went to YRK. Yep. You didn't start as the morning guy, right? No, I started what did you do? interning and then I did part-time weekends. Um, and then the night guy got let go and he said, hey, you want to do nights? So as I was going to Canisius, I would study it, like in between songs and then go do my uh, schooling in the day and do the night show at night. So it was a lot of work, but... Um, and then in 99, right after I graduated at Canisius, right. I got the morning job. And I've been there now ever since. Now, that's a big job, right? It is a big job. It's a right. lot of pressure. Um, right. Because, you know, people going to school, going to work, I mean, you know yourself. First thing you do when you get your car, boom, pop on the radio. Right. So. Now, what, is, what makes that show so magical? Because you've been doing it for 20 years. It's number one in ratings. Big time. Well, first of all, country music's huge. Right. So I, I always say I'm like the luckiest guy in radio in Buffalo because right. I landed at the country station. Like, for whatever reason, if it's a blue-collar town or whatever, country music wins in Buffalo. But secondly, I think we, like, because we are from Buffalo, myself, Rob, Val, we're all Buffalonians. I think that works. It translates well to the audience. We're just real people having fun. So I think, like, no matter what, if we're having fun, the listeners will. And I think that's why it works. So that's what the magic is, is that you guys are having fun and yep. you're weaving in a lot of Buffalo stuff, yeah, too. Absolutely, and nothing's off the table. I mean, if it's my family, if it's my sons, my wife. like You we, talk about it all. It's, it's all open. I mean, we're, we really don't hide a lot, personally speaking, when it comes to being on the air. And I think the listeners like that. They feel like, hey, we could sit there and be your friend, too. Right. How has radio changed? I mean, things have changed. You and I are both in communications mm -hmm. the last 20 years with the internet and satellites and this and that. How has your business, what you do, changed? I mean, there's a lot of automation out there, Yep. but you guys are still there at a mic having a good time. So I think part of it is, the first thing is we have to be more of a, um, a writer because we have a website, so we're writing a lot, um, you know, whatever stories, if it's personal stories, if it's news stories, country music. So we write a lot. But secondly, what I think is, and this is a huge switch for me, before I, I started radio, I'm like, we got to talk about what's happening with the country artists and the big stories of the day. People no. can get that anywhere now. Right. Like, as soon as you wake up, you probably have alerts on your phone. So our deal is, if they already know the story, how do we incorporate that into our life? How do we make what's going on in the world today matter to mom driving the kids to school? And that's where it's changed. We're not... We're not forcing people to listen to us. We're getting into their world. If, what is it about being on the radio that you enjoy? Um, it's not about being on the radio that I enjoy. It's right. when we leave the studio and meet the people. Yeah. And they're like, hey, I heard that story. Or, you know, I, I, for me, it's an emotional connection. Like, my parents passed away. I got divorced and remarried. I've had three kids, well, two kids, one on the way. It's, for me, it's that connection with the people. When I meet them and they're like, it touched me when you said that. Or I laughed my butt off when you right. guys said that. Or, geez, why did you say that? You know, it's, it's that connection to people that I love. Anybody can play music. But if you can't connect to people, it's not going to work. 
Very well said. All right, let's talk about your family. You just mentioned it. You were married uh, uh, how many years ago? So I got married uh, right out of college in 2000, 99, 2000. And mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I was way too young. Like right. looking back, anybody out there that's in their 20s right now, make sure you're ready. Right, I you know, agree. I just, um, I thought I was and right. um, it was love, but it just right. wasn't the right time for me. Right. And this position that I'm in, fast pace, I really got into it. It's for me. It's 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 changed a lot because now I'm all about the family, not just the job. Right, and, and I wasn't at that time. Right, and how many kids you have? You have two right now. So I have two right, right two. now. One on the way. We have a three year old Hank who right. is just a crazy man. He's all right. over the place. We have a, a fourteen month old Teddy right. who's just a snuggler, gentle right. guy, and we have one on the way um, in February. So you're gonna have three. Yeah, three little boys. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. It's now is the right time for me. Right. When I was twenty one. No way. So what do you like to do in your free time, Clay? If, if it's not, I love being with the kids now. Right. Um, we, get, we get out, man, we go pumpkin picking, or I'd like to take Hank on the side-by-side, -side, ride around the yard, snowmobiling. Um, I just enjoy being with the family. Years ago, if you would have told me that, I'd be like, no way, man, we've got concerts, we've got happy hours, we've got, I just get me out of the house and get me to those events. I just like to hang out here. What about hobbies? You must have some hobbies that you like to do. You hunt. I love right. working outside. Right. So okay. um, if 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 I'm here at the house, I'll be cutting the grass. I'll be fixing something, um, painting something. I just for me, it's a payoff. Radio and I don't know, maybe TV is the same. Mm -hmm. You don't get that payoff until you get a rating. Mm -hmm. You work around here, it's like, huh? I cut that tree down. We stacked <laughs> that wood today. Give me a beer, man. We finished something today. And radio, you don't get that instant payoff. You're the morning guy, so what time do you get up? Man. What time's the alarm clock go off? Three <laughs> thirty. Three thirty. Yeah, it's brutal. I used to do that. That's, uh, it's it crazy. Tough. And anybody that's had kids knows that there's not a night where you sleep all the way through right. anyway. Right. So yeah, three thirty. Grab my coffee by by four fifteen. I'm at the station. Right. Four thirty. Pat Hammer's weather. Right. Every Patrick day. Hammer, yeah, I'm yeah. like, man, I gotta watch Hammer in the morning. So you guys have a good time. Yeah. It's he, fun. He's he's great. So we watch that at four thirty. Um, Val and Rob show up around five. Show starts at five thirty. Go hard till ten o'clock. Till ten, and then it's meetings. It's um, it's interviews. It's it's anything. You know, radio became like a team sport now. You're not just right. going in there doing your show and going home. Right. All right. Pets. You got any pets? We have two dogs. We have a black lab named Pepper. Yeah. We have a dachshund named Lucy, and they're best of friends. All right. Does the, the black lab, lab is, does he hunt with you? Does he? So can Pepper. He duck hunt or anything? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Fully trained to duck hunt, great dog, uh, casting and all that. You can do that with that dog. But she pulled her ACL. Oh, that's so tough. So she's she's now she's just a stay at home. Yeah, my hangout. little dog did that too. It had it's, to be repaired. Oh, yeah, horrible. But several thousand dollars, veterinarians. I know, business. but what are you like? What are you going to do? You, gonna do? Do? Like, you can't family. have your dog limp, right? That's, absolutely. As you look at Buffalo, what is it that you love about Buffalo? Um, well, I love weather, so it's right. the seasons. So that's right. an easy one. But it's, it really is the people. And yeah. everybody's like, that's so cliche. That's such an easy right. answer. But if you never lived here, you don't know what that means. Right. Like, we say it's the people, but you could probably walk into a Wegmans right now and people are like, Scott, watch you all the time, man. Yep. Love you. Yep. You can't go anywhere else and get that. That's true. So that's why I love it. I love, it's, I love, it, I love the people. Um, I love the friendship. I love the pride in the city, the sports. I mean... I got a job. You're a sports with, fan? Yeah, I got a job with the Bills last year. Um, I'm currently the PA announcer for the games. Ah. So they called me. I did not know. This is know a real that. funny story. So I, I'm going this Sunday. I'm going to hear you. You'll hear the PA? me. And the only time okay. people know I'm on there is when I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's right. so if, you're, if you hear a guy, it's wrong. It's me. Um, but they called me. I was going to a wedding in Seattle, and they're like, hey, we're looking to get a PA guy. We're switching around. Would you try it? I'm like, I guess. I don't really know much about the NFL. Rule book and all that. Right. Turns out you don't need to because you're just there to be a voice for the fan. Right. Um, and I tried out and I, I got the job and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. That's great. I'm an NFL PA announcer. How is right. this even possible? Like, right. I still don't believe it, but it's the most intense, fun job I've ever had. Four quarters, you're constantly talking. There's tons of action, a lot of pressure. Right. I love that. And again, at the end of the day, I can say I did that. Right. Super cool. Did you ever think you'd see the renaissance that we saw, we're seeing now in Buffalo right no. now? No. And I'll be honest with you, when I was, we talked about me being a younger guy, when I was 21, 22 in radio, when can I get to Dallas? How can I work in Houston? Get me right. a job in Chicago. Right. Because I thought that's where it's happening. Me, Man, me too. Not anymore. Right. It's happening here. And people are jealous of it right. because of our sports teams are doing good again. Right. They're jealous of the city doing well. They're jealous of what New York is able to do. You know, you take politics out of it, this right. is a great place to live, man. It really is. All right, last question. What does the future hold for, for Clay Moden? Are you going to stay so, on the air? What do you think you're going to be doing 
20 years from now. So uh, 20 years from now, I'm going to be being a dad, man. I, mm -hmm. I want to, whatever they're into, hockey, outdoors, whatever we're doing, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I really want to help people. Like, right. if I can't be on the air, how can I get in the community and, and, and be a voice for people? Like, the, the guys that are working blue collar every day or the people who make lots of money. How right. can I help them? Right. And that's that's what I want to do. That's right. somehow, some way be a part of that. Well, you're an approachable, normal Buffalo guy. Uh, if you're going to go out for dinner or for a restaurant, where are some of your favorite restaurants? Name two of them. Two restaurants. Two places if you could go out with your wife or the kids. Um, where would you go? Where would we see point. you at? So one is of them, it Red Robin? Yeah. I don't know. What is it? Um, I'll tell you. I do love East Aurora. So okay. I grew up there and I right. love going back there. So... Um, I like Walla Wines Hotel in East Aurora. Okay, yeah. um, to me, uh, the Bar Bill and all those are great. Don't yeah. get me wrong. They're opening one right near me in Clarence. And those Bar are Bill. great. I love those places. Right. But I like a Walla Wines because it's kind of like a laid back, old school kind of place. Right. And we go over here to uh, JP's Pub in Lakeview a lot. Cool. Because it's the same thing. You know, it's a laid back place with good food that's cool with three kids coming right. in. <laughs> and I see you're wearing a Justin hat. You wear Justin boots? Yeah, man. There you go. He's yeah. a cowboy uh, boot guy. The, the easiest, best boots straight out of the box. Love right. it. Well, it's been a joy, a pleasure getting to Thank know you, you too, I've Thank known you. you for several years. We've worked together a little bit on Food to Families, but uh, you're number one for a reason in Buffalo. You're a great guy. You're approachable. Thank you. And you're just a really good Buffalo Thanks guy. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate Thanks for joining us on Get, Get to, to Know today. today. Absolutely. We appreciate it. We'll be listening to you. And thank you for joining us, YouTube. On this edition of Get to Know, click the subscribe button and the notifications bell and you will find out the next time we have another edition of Get to Know. We'll see you later.